you and the rest of the Giants alums were pissed off last week, for, Sean. For for shizzle. I mean, Siri. I mean, why do you think? Why, why were you guys so? I mean, so angry about this with Elon? You know, it's it's actually it's a good question, just because I think everybody was pretty angry about the season. Everybody was pretty fired up about. You know, look, losing is one thing, but the way that they were losing games, um, I think a lot of, of former players have kind of seen this coming just because of a couple of areas that have not really been addressed. But then to see, you know, players that, you know, were so-called quitting during games, not finishing plays, not hustling, giving all out effort for tackles. You know, there was reports about DRC left the field and went into the locker room while the game was going on and just shut it down. And then that led to the altercation with McAdoo, the suspension, then the Janoris Jenkins not coming back. I mean, it was, all of those things kind of led up to it. And despite all of the, the, the house was burning, things were falling on around, the one guy standing there saying, look, I'm still showing up and I'm still putting forth the championship effort was Eli. And I think throughout this whole season, that's the one thing the Giants fans really came to see. That's what they were kind of hanging on to. And I think for a lot of veterans, we, we felt like uh, to, to do that to Eli at that point in time and to come to him and say that we value giving Gino playing time over you trying to win a game. I mean, this wasn't like, hey, it's week 17. It's the last game of the season. We're two and whatever. We're going to let one of these other guys finish the game. You got five games left to play. I, I don't think any of us understood it. We didn't like it, and I think everybody rightfully so expressed that. Do you, did you Have you been reached out to, or do you know of any other Giants alums who spoke out as forcefully as you did, have been reached out to by the team, by ownership at all? Um, not that I know of. I know there's a lot of guys that, uh, and like myself, you know, I'm glad I didn't send half the tweets that I wrote. Um, I, I think we, we were all kind of saying, look, we, we, we're not happy about this. Um, we wanted to do it. You know, in a respectful way, not you know, not just completely thrashing uh, everything that you love, but you know, this this really kind of just hit home with the Giants' pride, and I think everybody was was really hurting. But I know there's a lot of guys that uh, were were very opinionated about it, uh, some more than others. But I think that I did talk to a couple of people within the organization, and you know, look, e- even the people that worked there, they felt low. They felt some of them were ashamed of, of what had happened. And the feeling in that building was so – there was so much despair and so much sorrow, and it was – it was like a funeral is what a couple of people described it as. And I think that is why John Mara felt like he had to make a change. The the funk had gotten too bad that Febreze wasn't going to get it out. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.